Just wanted to do a quick video showing you a couple different ways that you can start up drive wire. So if you don't have a dedicated ROM pack to start drive wire or you don't have uh, an SDC, you can still start drive wire with a disk drive with a little program that I wrote. So we can come over here. Launch drive wire. And then I wrote a little program and it'll load up drive wire from a floppy disk. So to do that, we'll turn the cocoa on. So we'll just type in the program. It'll ask which cocoa, and I'm using the three right now. And there you go, it's uh, drive wire booting up from a floppy. Now, another way that you can do it is obviously the, uh, the SDC lets you run drive wire, but I wrote up a couple little programs to make it a lot easier for people who aren't that familiar with how the SDC works. So again, I'll turn the cocoa on. And it's going to boot up and I have it booting up to SDCX so I'm just gonna go down to my disk called drive wire and I can just run the program DW which should load drive wire up and it just did and now it's going to launch sidekick with my games dot games dash dw dot dsk so now now i'm running the 255 disk image but another thing you can do is you can actually go right back into the SDC with another little short program that I wrote. So I'll relaunch SDCX from DriveWire. And I'm now back in to my Coco SDC. So, and I can Go back to the drive wire again if I want. And there, now I'm back in drive wire. So I can use this technique to move files between the SDC and drive wire or vice versa. So again, I'm in drive wire. And this is my image that I'm in. And then I can go right back to the SDC. So using these programs, you can quickly move files around between the SDC and DriveWire and DriveWire to the SDC.